Back in the fall, Perpetual Radio showed you a full tour of the 2015 BMW X3 xDrive 28D. Give you all the ins and outs of the car, all the buttons, everything you needed to know, maybe if you're thinking of buying the car. Today, we're in a 2017 xDrive 28i, the gas engine version of this car. So we're going to be showing you an actual test drive. We're going to go out, give you a feel of the road, and tell you what it's like to live with this car. So let's go take a look. Number one complaint that I really have about this car, I'm a tall and large person, but sitting at about six feet, this rear view mirror is quite a blind spot. And uh, so much so that if I'm coming up to an intersection, sitting normally with the seat as far down as it can go, I actually have to duck to get kind of underneath it in order to see around. And it's mainly because they just keep making these things bigger. You know, you've got the security fob on it and your home link and all of that, but that's kind of something that, uh, I'm not a huge fan of. All right, so it has a few blind spots, but how about its performance? What's it like to drive? Now, in terms of power, this car has a two liter turbocharged inline four, and a lot of people say that it's not powerful enough for the weight of this vehicle. You can get an X-Drive 35i, which has more power, and uh, I think that you'd be a little bit better off, especially if you're gonna be towing anything. If you put a tow hook on the back, you have a little trailer, or if you really do do a lot of sporting, you have mountain bikes, things like that, and a lot of gear in the trunk, you're gonna wanna have a little bit more power because this car isn't that inefficient when it comes to fuel economy, but the engine itself struggles a little bit when you're trying to, say, merge onto the highway. Right, just a bit of a struggle. But overall, this isn't BMW's first inline four turbo engine, so it must get decent mileage, right? Well, I was gonna sit here and tell you that the X3 is fuel efficient because it's got BMW's efficient dynamics. Uh, for a two liter turbocharged inline four, it averages, and this is not driving like garbage, this is like commuting on the highway. We average 10.6 liters per hundred. My V8, 4.4 liter 7 series does 11. Okay, so she won't be doing you any favors at the pump. You have options though. The xDrive 28D we filmed in May gets better mileage at the expense of performance, and that's 55 horses to be exact. With the diesel, you do gain 150 pound feet of torque, so depending on what you plan on using your X3 for, you do have a few options. However, the drive to the grocery store is about all these X3s expect to see anyway. Overall, we found the drive of the 2017 X3 xDrive 28i to be on par with what you would expect from BMW. Steering is tight and responsive. Handling is among the best when compared with competitors in this segment, and the ride quality is smooth, even on the rough roads we test vehicles on here in Niagara. Now, Perpetual Radio was originally founded based as a technology company. We talked a lot about tech in our first couple of years that we were doing it, so it'd be silly for us not to talk about the technology on this car. This car has all the premium essential package options, except it isn't actually that package. The leather seats weren't included. You have the widescreen navigation, which is really the big draw of having that package. It gives you the bigger screen, you have more options, you can have navigation, and the way that I usually like to have it set up, you have radio on one side and navigation on the other, so you can see what you're listening to at the same time as seeing where you're going. BMW's hi-fi system isn't really the greatest. I'd say that it's probably on par with the DSP system in my 7 series, but overall if you really like listening to music, maybe you have a long commute, you love pumping your tunes out, you're going to want to upgrade to the Harman Kardon audio system. It sounds really good, and you're going to want to go up to something that has a little bit more bass, a little bit more grunt, and uh, just really emphasizes the notes more so than you get with the basic system that BMW puts in these cars. The other options of this car, other than the navigation system, you do have the rear sunshades, which is nice if you've got a family. Uh, and other than that, 
front and rear heated seats, heated steering wheel, which is very nice in our climate. It has front and rear park distance control, and it also has rear backup camera. Now, backup cameras in the BMWs, in my opinion, are the best. They've got the guides that show you where your wheels are going, so you can really pull into a spot with no problems at all. For a family, you know, you're getting an SUV, you're not gonna get a whole lot of people in the back seat. The car seat back there is uh, obviously behind the driver. If you really wanna put it behind the passenger, you might have a bit better space there, but uh, my daughter really is able to kick that seat from a sitting position. She doesn't have to try it. Like she's bumping into that seat all the time. Now, this is the car that most people are gonna be buying, though. The X5 is bigger, more expensive, so if you really need to have an SUV and you really need to have a BMW, then you might have to sacrifice having the rear legroom back there and uh, trunk space too. I mean, it's not bad, certainly better than if you bought a car, but you aren't gonna get a ton of stuff in the back of that. If you're going on maybe a week trip, you've got a family of four, you uh, might wanna start thinking about packing light. A convenience feature you might not have known about are the auto heated seats and steering wheel. Should you have any of them on when you turn off the vehicle and return to continue your trip within 15 minutes, the heaters will turn back on immediately. This is great for those minus 30 degree days when you need to run in quickly for Tim Hortons. That brings us to my final thought. BMW's midsize sport activity vehicle is well equipped with the right options. I recommend the premium essentials package, which includes navigation, park distance control, backup camera, and auto trunk, just to name a few. An extra $3,000 on top of that gets you the Harman Kardon audio system along with comfort access, which is a huge convenience. Also included is the driver aid tech that I'm still not sold on, such as blind spot monitoring, heads up display, and BMW's driving assistant. The diesel option would be my personal choice, or going up to the inline 6 xDrive 35i. In all, this is a great update to BMW's X3 model, and could be the final model year for the F25 chassis. Well, there you go. That's what we thought of the 2017 BMW X3 xDrive 28i. Thanks so much for watching this video. If you liked it, please give us a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel for more great content like this, and we'll see you again soon. Take care.